Well, it's been two days since I put on the bee escape board. And I checked on it yesterday, but there were still about 100 or so bees up in the honey super. And they're still there. I just checked on them again, and they're still there. So I'm going to just go ahead and take it off anyway. I'll probably try to blow the bees out. Uh, I'll try it first with just my breath. If that doesn't work, I might get the uh, leaf blower and try that. Or I'll just try taking out each frame and sweeping them off. Uh, but I was surprised at how many bees are still up in the honey super. I thought that there would, you know, some several of the other videos I've seen that show using the bee escape board say that it doesn't get all the bees, but, you know, it leaves maybe 10 or 20. I see about 100 or more in there. Um, just some that they, I don't know why they're not going down. Yesterday and today have been cooler days, and I noticed there's less activity out in front, but I don't know if that is the reason. Anyway. I'll go ahead and get started on this. See how many are on the inner cover here. Can you see how many bees are in there? Yeah, you're yeah, holding out the right angle. Yeah, sort of. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take it over here and just try blowing on them. Yeah, it's not doing much good. They're holding on really well, and I'm just spitting on everything. <laughs> I do. Right. Oh, no, no suits today, huh? No. no, it's not very many bees to deal with. I'm not really trying to brush them off. I'm just giving them a little sweep and uh, see if they'll leave on their own. I'm not really brushing too hard. Some of them are head down. I just give them a little touch on the butt get them to pull out their heads. Oh. Because I don't want to hurt them. If I sweep them real hard while their head is in the comb, I could hurt them. Decapitate them? Yep. <laughs> so that's the one they're just making. It's, just, it's honey, isn't it? Yeah, it's just honey. Well, we got all the bees out of the honey super. I tried sweeping, but then when I take the frame back into the box, they would just get back on it again. So one mistake I made was not having an empty box on hand to put the cleaned frames or the B-less frames on, into the box. Um, and we ended up using a leaf blower. The bees didn't like it. I didn't like it. We ended up having one sting. David got stung in the neck. And uh, the bees just don't want to let go when you're trying to blow them out. And you end up, I don't know if I um, ended up hurting some bees or what in the process. So. Uh, it's just a few though, but I still don't like doing that. Um, anyway, it's empty and it's in the house now for me to work on it. I'm going to take off the uh, bee escape now and see how the bees are doing in there. And then put the top back on. Doing okay there, David? Yeah. He's got ice on his wound. What are you doing? Oh, just taking it off. Yeah. Oh, they're crowded. Yeah. So I'll just set this on the side here. They'll fly back up into the hive.
All right, let's go deal with the honey. So we got the honey box in the kitchen now. There's a couple frames in here that are really thick comb. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try it on the first one and see how well it goes. But I'm gonna take off a face on each side, cut it down to the right dimension of comb so I can put it inside uh, Queen Beatrice's hive. And while I was looking through here, there was a dead bee down on the countertop with a mite laying on the side of it. I have it on the tip of my knife here. So obviously we have mites. Uh, I think all beehives have mites. It's just a matter of you know, how bad is it and what are the bees going to do about it. I'm not going to be doing anything about it. I leave it up to the bees. So here is one of those frames with the really wide comb on it. And it's so wide that it wouldn't fit unless you spread out the frames. So in order to maintain bee space, I'm going to cut down the faces on this. I have a pitcher of hot water here. Hopefully it's hot enough that I can get the knife hot to make this cutting easier. Where's my finger? Jody, that's my finger. And all this extra honey, I'm going to put in a little dish and give it back to the bees. Well, it turns out I don't like this plan. So I'm going to just cut all of the comb out of this frame, crush it, strain it, and feed it back to the bees. I'll leave all the other combs alone and just give the box, the entire box of Queen Beatrice. This is just too messy, and I'm concerned that if I put this back in the hive, bees will just stick to it and drown. So I will see what I can do about just harvesting this entire frame. Um, so this is a fun little experiment. It's messy, but we're learning a lot. Okay, I have a sticky frame, empty frame here that I'm going to uh, give to Queen Beatrice. And I'm just going to put it in the spot where they have an empty frame.
should be on the bottom. Probably be happy to get this. Leave them hanging around and just disintegrate or down the front. Yeah. Yep. Wasps and yellow jackets clean them up. Okay. All right. So there's Queen Beatrice's honey. Now I got to go deal with all that crushed, messy honey <laughs> and see some way to feed it. And there's a yellow jacket that wants to get in the hive. So you think that by giving in all this honey that they'll be okay with it then, huh? Yeah. yeah. I think they would have been fine anyway, but I didn't want to take my chances since I want to split this hive in the spring. Okay. And what do you mean by split it? How do you split it? Uh, take half the bees out and put them in another, in another hive body. But then you have to have the queen, so do you, have, do you make They'll a raise queen? a new queen. Oh, they will. Yeah. So change of plans. I went in, crushed all that comb, put it in this bucket. I was originally gonna, I was planning on maybe feeding this to them, but after seeing how much there is here, I've got two quarts, uh, which includes some of the crushed up wax. So I don't know what that will filter down to, just under two quarts, I imagine. But my plan now is to just hold on to this. I'm gonna filter it down, put it in some jars, and then I'll just store it until I need to feed it back to the hive. So. If I need to feed it, I will. If not, come spring, then I can eat it. So that is my plan now. Queen Beatrice has an additional four combs of honey that she didn't have before that I took from Queen Anne. And then this will be available just in case for later in the season.